how C&W research determines fleet and commercial unit sales numbers that are different than what most analysts and OEMs are counting. Well, the primary difference is that we count commercial in with fleet. Now we get this the same, we, we get this a lot with uh, a lot of the car companies. Well, we only did, you know, we only did 15% fleet. Now, that's right, that's what we have too. We show you as having done 15% fleet. But we also show that you have done 5% corporate fleet. You've done 3% or 4% uh, commercial uh, fleet through your dealers where they're buying only one or two or three vehicles. Your dealers are doing it. These are not coming through the corporate fleet departments. These are coming through your dealers. Uh, there are some that are counted as fleet uh, by the car companies that are really just nothing more than consumer leases and simultaneously there are some that they're not, they're counting as cash sales that are in reality uh, commercial leases uh, because a commercial enterprise might come in and go okay here's the money uh, for the car it's a cash sale dealer marks it down as a cash sale reports to the manufacturer it's a cash sale but the reality is that that person independent lease company for example turns around and leases the vehicle to some business, uh, uh, even an open-end lease. Uh, so, you know, our, our numbers are different because we count small business, medium business, large business, commercial fleet, and government. Uh, for the most part, the car companies like to count only government and large commercial fleets uh, because those are, the, those are the kinds of industries that they cater to directly. Uh, most of the others, though, uh, about half of the medium-sized fleets, and all of the small business fleets uh, tend to come from dealer, uh, dealer fleet action. Uh, and some of them are like a contractor. A you know, contractor may, use an, uh, may need another pickup truck or another van or, or whatever, and he'll go to the dealer and work out a deal with the dealer, and it'll become a, as far as the dealer reporting to the manufacturer, it's a retail lease or a retail purchase, but in reality, that vehicle is being used 50% or more of the time as a commercial vehicle.